day you're going to work on your color snake quiz. You are going to follow all directions, so put your name first at the top, your class period, and then let's read the directions. So we're going to pattern all snakes but the last one using an ultrafine sharpie. So we're going to use an ultrafine sharpie, and I gave you an example of a pattern in the first one. I'm going to go through, and when you pattern, I do not want to see just you repeating lines. These do not have to be complex patterns, but you have to have areas where you can use colored pencils. You're going to be coloring in your patterns, not over them. So I'm going to come through here, and I'm going to pattern um, each of these. And I'm actually just going to use fairly simple patterns for these, but you're going to pattern all of them. But this bottom one, um, let's see, and this one I'm going to do triangle, circle, triangles. And you want to make sure you're doing closed shapes. If you do an open shape like a spiral, that doesn't have an area for you to color. Here I'm going to need two spaces, so I'm going to just divide mine with, a, with like a flowing line. And then in this one, I'm going to do a heart and a smiley. And then I'm going to do a, another smiley, heart, smiley, smiley, heart, smiley, smiley, heart. Okay. Now, this one, do not pattern. So then I'm going to get out, so we're not patterning that one, I'm going to get out my color study guide and I'm going to start finding the color theories. So the first one is warm colors, I'm going to do red, so if I'm looking through here, warm colors right there, red, orange, and yellow, and I'm going to fill them in. So red, orange, yellow, Blue colors are blue, green, and violet. Primary colors are red, yellow, and blue. Secondary colors are violet, orange, and green. For complementary colors, okay, complementary colors are directly across from each other on the color wheel, and I have pairs listed here. I'm going to pick one of those pairs. So I'm going to pick uh, blue and orange. And for analogous colors, analogous colors are next to each other on the color wheel. I could pick any three in a row. And I know this, these are the three easiest ones to find in the color boxes. So I'm going to choose, but you can choose any. I'm going to do yellow, yellow, green, and green. Those are three in a row. For monochromatic, monochromatic is using any shades, tints, or tones of one hue. So I'm going to do, it'll be, everyone should have black, white, and then you'll pick a color, and I'm going to use like a blue-green. Okay, now I've set up the colors. Now, when you go to color this, and I'm not going to color every single snake for you, but I want you to see what I'm doing. I want you to start with like, I'm going to start with this warm colors. So I need a red, so I'm coloring the snake that it's next to. I need a red and I need an orange, and I need a yellow. And I could find like a dark yellow, a light yellow, I don't care, but one of each for sure. And you can use more if you have multiple oranges or, or multiple yellows, but this snake should be red, orange, and yellow. And I'm gonna start through here like this. I'm gonna do this stripe. So I'm gonna color this stripe red. So I'm gonna do the first stripe red, and I'm not coloring across, I'm coloring in. This stripe is red, first stripe red, I'm going to do it nice and neat, I'm not scribble scrabbling, nice and dense, there we go, and here, 
line here, okay? I'm gonna do yellow in the next stripe. So I'm gonna do yellow in this stripe and in the dots, and then I'll do the background in orange. So I'm gonna do yellow, 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 dot. Okay, nice and neat. If I'm missing areas, I'm gonna go in and fill. And then I'm gonna use my orange. And I'm gonna start here at the front and I'm gonna neatly color in, not color over. So I didn't make all this design to then color a third of my stake red, a third of my stake yellow. So we're never doing that. We're always coloring in. I'm gonna inline around my shape as neatly as I can I'm gonna color these in okay now I'm not gonna finish coloring this because you understand that we're not coloring over our patterns we're coloring neatly in and if we're putting lines on here to divide shapes then our shapes should be a different color than our backgrounds okay so there's my, um, I would finish coloring the rest of these orange. The only other one that I want to demonstrate is when we get to the bottom snake, the one we're not patterning. I'm going to demonstrate that one for you. Here we're going to be doing monochromatic. I'm doing black, white, and I'm going to do a blue green. Okay. Now, you should be using for this snake Prismacolor color pencils and they could be scholar prismacolors or regular prismacolors it doesn't really matter but you want to make sure that you have a black a white okay and then you can choose whatever other color you want I'm going to show you how to create this so at the bottom end of this snake you're going to go dark black and then as you come up you're going to fade so dark 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 like heavy heavy at this end and then you're gonna fade so you're gonna lighten the pressure and allow this to fade out to white okay that's with your black now you're gonna do the same thing on the other end of the snake with white you're gonna go heavy heavy waxy white and you're gonna have to feel this more than you can see it and then you're gonna, as you come down the snake, you're gonna lighten the pressure and you're gonna fade out. So I'm lightening the pressure. Then you're gonna take whatever color you chose as your hue and I'm gonna go heavy in the middle where it's empty. So this is not a time if you're somebody that shades lightly, we're gonna go heavy, heavy here heavy and then as we come up I can feel when I hit the white color pencil it doesn't feel the same as the as the bare paper so I'm going to do this end first and as I hit the white I'm going to fade with the color pencil I'm fading to white so light 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 I'm lightening the pressure until it runs out and then I'm going to back mix I'm going to take the white and I'm going to go heavy on top and I'm gonna mix the colors together. And then on this end, I'm just gonna do this. But I always wanna do the white end first. Um, because the color pencil when I'm mixing it with the white I don't ever want to pick up any black and mix in there it will darken that end. this end I'm just gonna go heavy heavy with this blue green all the way until I hit the pure black and then that is it I don't need a back mix with the black it will get become too dark you're here overlapping into the black so that will be your monochromatic fading from your pure hue to white and to black and now all you need to do is finish coloring the cool colored snake is here the primary snake is here color neatly and when you're done submit